Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, uh, I've built a boat hire here, and boat hires they tend to get stuck usually after uh, several years of operation. Um, that usually happens when you don't build a track for them, because at the point where the where they should get back to the station, uh, yeah, they will often or sometimes just try to get in from a weird angle and then everything will just go uh, go crazy and they'll get stuck. So yeah, if you're also annoyed by that, uh, I will now show you a trick on how to make a boat higher. Uh, that looks random, like they, like they move around now, but which doesn't get stuck. So first off, we'll close the ride. And you may have heard me say uh, a ride that looks random. That's correct, because uh, it will not actually be random. The boats will be on a track, but uh, the track will be invisible, so it will look like they are moving around randomly. Uh, normally you're, you're limited to these tight curves, but uh, because the track will be invisible, we can make uh, any uh, type of uh, yeah, any type of track that we want, any element. So let's use the steeplechase, one of my favorites. And we can just uh, start building, go crazy. So yeah, we can really put uh, really put any element uh, we want. I actually put a video up some time ago where I put a loop in a boat ride. Of course, that's uh, that's a bit silly, but uh, it was uh, great for uh, demonstration purposes. Oh yeah, um, I just put some random uh, curves in here. I want a tight curve here, so I'll just change it into a wild mouse here. Like that. And here we'll finish the track. Alright. Now we could already start the <laughs> right now. Now it's a wild mouse and they will just uh, move on it like uh, like usual but yeah let's uh, turn it into a lift or elevator as it is in the US the good thing about changing it into a lift is that uh, if you make the ride free of charge uh, guests will always ride it because a lift is a transport ride and guests will always ride those uh, regardless of the intensity and since both hires tend to get terrible stats, that's a good thing. Because, uh, yeah, they don't care about the intensity anymore. Alright, let's test the ride. Now, one thing you'll notice is that uh, the boats will now start uh, moving without any guests on them. That's because it's now a lift, and a lift can move uh, normally if there's no guests on it. Of course, uh, these cars actually need the gas to propel them forward by pedaling. So to remedy that, we'll just put it to wait for full load. Now when we open the ride, they will just keep waiting until uh, until enough guests enter. And then they will just start uh, going around. Now since the entire track is invisible, you'll probably want to make sort of a station so I will just uh, make something really really simple now just for uh, demonstration purposes uh, let's disable clearance checks and just make a little wall next to it normally I would put some more effort into this but uh, this is just a demonstration there we have it, a little station for our boat ride. Now it will actually look like the, the boats are going around in a random direction, but of course they're, uh, they're on a track. Let me put a minimum wait time as well, so they're not all in this area. But yeah, this is how you make a boat ride that will never get stuck. Because uh, the boats are always uh, on the track, they will always just uh, get on the back to the station without trouble because at the end they cannot be at a weird angle yeah. 
I should probably increase the minimum wait time here a bit because they all seem to be uh, a bit stuck uh, behind each other. Well, right now it looks uh, it looks okay. Anyway, that was the my tutorial on both hires. Uh, if you want to see the track again, you can just press nine to bring up the height markers, and you can see where the track is. Anyway, I hope you I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I uh, hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.